How surprised were you that, that it was so far oversubscribed? Well, we had expected it. Uh, the investor community had been uh, uh, had been working with us for the last couple of years. Uh, we went on to the stock exchange in 1997. Uh, the investor community has been with us since that point of time, and we were quite confident that uh, they have seen us grow. They know how good or how bad we are. They have seen our business plans being translated into actual results. So we were quite confident that we will get the full support of the investor community. In fact, uh, it being oversubscribed uh, uh, was not a real surprise to us. I mean, one of the reasons given is that there's too much money chasing too few projects in East Africa. How far is this true? Uh, a very, very difficult question. I mean, we would not like to comment about the other projects, but definitely uh, in the last uh, 10, 15 years, whatever projects Arthur River Mining has declared and implemented, we have implemented them on schedule and we have uh, uh, implemented uh, and brought in the results and value into the company. As you're probably aware, we were a 500 million market cap company about seven years ago. Today we are a 12 billion uh, market cap company and that's been driven by the results which the company has uh, achieved. So uh, we were confident that our project is good, our planning is good, our track record is good and therefore we would get the support. And also, we're hearing that uh, the falling interest rates has made uh, your uh, issue very attractive indeed. I mean, we've just been hearing that uh, Kenya's decided to hold rates steady. Um, how much do you think was a factor in oversubscription to your offering? Well, uh, well, uh, yes. Uh, uh, you know, we were probably one of the different options in which the investing community could have invested, and we probably at this pro uh, point of time were offering a better return than the other options. So yes, that must have contributed in some way, but I think the fundamentals of the company uh, contributed more to the success of the bond rather than the uh, financial environment which exists at this point of time. Now this week we've been hearing that there are five new hotels, for instance, going up in Nairobi. There are a lot of projects going on the way. Do you think that there's likely to be more companies getting into the construction business, uh, the same as yours, to take up this slack? The cement uh, business is a long-term business. It takes about four years for us to establish a greenfield cement company. Plus, the raw materials have to be available, limestone, pozzolana, gypsum, iron ore, coal, etc. So cement is a long-term business. It is not a business in which you can come in immediately and get out immediately. Uh, the construction industry in Kenya is growing. Uh, the competition is also growing. There is new capacity coming up already into the country. And if there were other companies which were to follow uh, through an equity linked note or a similar note, we would be happy because one of the objectives of bringing this ELN into the market was to develop the capital markets. How tough is that competition in East Africa? Well, at the present moment, we have a situation where the uh, demand is growing. Demand is growing by about 12%. We are still catching up on our infrastructure sector. We are still catching up on our housing sector. The demand is growing and so is the competition. The competition is putting in capacity. We are we're putting in capacity. Going forward, I expect that in short term, we will have a balance of capacity and demand. In the medium term, we would probably have some overcapacity but long term, that is in about five years time, we would have to put in new capacity in our region once again. Somebody would have to put in new cement capacity.